How are you doing? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope everybody is well. So I'm at the point now with the Lang 6 Pod Go that I'm not really doing much tweaking anymore. I've found the impulse response that I really like. I found the amp models that I really like. And I've tweaked them and added the all the effects in that I like. So I'm at the point now where I just turn on the Lang 6 Pod Go and I play instead of tweaking. Which is always a, a good thing. So I thought I would make a video and showcase, demonstrate, whatever you want to call it. My favourite sounds at the minute, I'm sure they'll change because I, I can't really help myself when, I, when it comes to tweaking. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they change, but they haven't changed for a while, so I thought I would make a video, and uh, like an update video on my presets. So you've just heard the, the Rev Gen Red model there. Uh, we'll quickly have a look and see what I've got going on. Not much. Um, again, it's the Rev Gen Red model there. Um, I'm being pushed at the front end by a Scream 808. Um, I've got the the 10 band graphic EQ on this and I've tended to use this kind of thing just to clean up some of the, the high gain especially. Um, I'm just dipping out 3 dB at 250 and I'm dipping out um, 1.5 dB at 4K just to keep those nasty frequencies out. If you're getting some nasty frequencies I highly recommend you do this. Um, just a 4K, just pull out a little bit just to get rid of those, um, you know, the nasty frequencies that can that can cause a little bit of, you know, unpleasantness, shall we say. I've uh, got a little bit of delay going on, just a simple delay. And I've also got a second delay there, just to uh, create a little bit of a, a stereo widener effect. Um, so if you are watching this on a, a phone with a one speaker in mono, I do recommend that you've, you know, if you can, try and... Uh, Maybe plug it into your computer and listen with a good a good pair of um, or just a pair of headphones, uh, just for maximum you know quality. So yeah, in this video we're going to be going through uh, a few different presets ranging from high gain, what you've just heard, to nice and clean. And one thing I want to say about the impulse response is, I've used the same impulse response throughout many of these presets because I like the idea of you know in the real world having one cab. And simply changing out different amplifiers, but still using that that same cab with the same mic setup, which is basically uh, um, an Eddie Van Halen Celestian um, with a SM57 and a Royer 420 mic, I do believe. So you're getting all the highs and all the lows and all the blended in and all the good stuff. So yes, and also makes things a little bit simpler when it comes to playing this live in terms of EQ. So, you know... Just makes things similar because I do the sound uh, with my band on stage and it just makes my life a little bit easier regarding the different sounds and all the different amps and blah blah blah. So yeah let's get into it that is the Rev Gen Red. <laughs> Just really enjoying this amp and um, I just think it sounds absolutely fantastic nice and saturated big and fat and nice and clear especially with that impulse response on it and the impulse response is really 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 important can't stress that enough so let's change amps here so that was a nice high gain one let's go to a clean one and the clean amp I've, I've been I've been really enjoying out of all of them surprisingly well not surprisingly just it is <laughs> is the line six litigator um 
yeah, I was really surprised when I loaded that in. I didn't really expect it to be, uh, you know, just being honest, I didn't really expect it to be that good in comparison with the Fender amps in there and all that, uh, all the other good amps. But yeah, it's really, really surprised me, this amp, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Just a really, really nice clean sound, nice and clear and bright. I don't know actually what impulse response. Yeah, I'm using the my personal favorite impulse response on this as well. Um, so yeah. So in terms of what I've got going on, not much again in this uh, in this preset. I've got a compressor in, but it's currently not turned on. I don't feel like I need to turn on. I like the dynamic range of this amp. Um, plate reverb. I've got a delay going on. Um, it's currently turned off again. I'm using the uh, dual delay just as a stereo widener um, for this preset. I can turn the other delay on just to see what we've got going on. It sounds like this. So quite a heavy delay there, just more for the arpeggio stuff, the single note stuff. So yes, that is the Line 6 Litigator. That's a clean preset that I've been really enjoying. We can go to like a mid-gain, rockier kind of sound. Um, and this one is based um, around the Tweed Blues Normal amp in the Line 6 Pod Go, which is, a, I guess, a Fender Basement. Um, I'm going to change up guitar, say I'm going to go to the Les Paul. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it sounds. Yeah, so I really, really enjoy this preset. It's like a heavy blues rock. It's a great preset for that kind of stuff. Let's see what we've got going on. Um, again, it's based around the uh, the Defender basement in the, uh, the Line 6 Pod Go. Um, I've got the tube drive going on there, um, and that is pushing into a Timmy pedal, and that is obviously pushing into the front end of the amp. In terms of after the amp, uh, the, I've got the 10-band graphic EQ, which I tend to like in these, in these presets, just in case I need to dip any any frequencies like really fast. It's turned off. Um, I've got the transistor tape delay as well in case I want delay, but I'm kind of enjoying this preset without without any delay. I think it's a uh, plate reverb, yeah. Just really enjoy the plate reverb in the, in the, uh, the Line 6 stuff. I just I think it's really, really good. Um, we, can turn the, we can turn the delay on just to see how that sounds. <laughs> So 
So yeah, that is the uh, that is the um, the Fender Basement amp in the Line Six Pod Go, which I'm again I'm really loving. So another preset that I'm really enjoying is uh, a preset that is based around the Fender Basement. Um, again, a little bit different to the last uh, the last one where I'm, I, it's like I'm pushing the Fender Basement in the last preset. This one I'm leaving it nice and clean. Uh, I've got my 52 uh, Custom Shop ratio here, and it sounds like this, really nice. <laughs> Just a lovely sound. I absolutely love this uh, this preset. So every time I get the uh, the old Telecaster out, I always put this preset on, and I just I can just sit for hours and hours just playing this uh, bridge pre uh, the bridge pickup. Sounds like this, really telly kind of sound. The neck pickup sounds like this, really nice again. Just a really, really lovely sound. Absolutely love this preset. Definitely one of my favorites. Let's see what we've got going on. I have got the compressor on this preset, just, uh, just to fatten it up a little bit. Uh, I do prefer the compressor on with the, uh, the Fender Basement on the clean side of things. Um, again, I'm just using the, uh, the stock cab in this uh, preset, like I said earlier. Uh, I find it absolutely, it's absolutely fine with this. Uh, I have got an optical trim on this one. We can turn that on and see how it sounds. Let's whack it on. Sounds great if you like a tremolo. Um, I've also got a, a delay going on in this one, uh, just a you know, in case you want any delay. Sounds like that, a nice stereo image there. Just a really, really nice sounding preset. Again, I absolutely love this preset. So yeah, that is it for that. I have um, a nice Plexi preset that I like, sometimes play. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the Telecaster for this one. Um, and yeah, it sounds like this. <laughs> Bye. 
Sounds really nice. Um, what have I got going on this in this preset? I am pushing it with the uh, the Scream 808. I'm turn that off um, just to see how it sounds without anything pushing, just straight up. So yeah, it sounds great. You can have hours, hours of fun with that. Um, again, the uh, the I haven't really done anything with the EQ in this preset. Um, I've already turned the uh, delay off. I've got a whole reverb going on in this, and again, just my little stereo widener trick with the delay there. If you haven't already tried that, I highly suggest you do because it just makes things really, in my opinion, a little bit better. So yes. What else can I show you? I think that is pretty much it. I do have a nice deluxe reverb again. I've just really been enjoying uh, clean presets of late. Um, I used to be like a proper, a real, you know, high gain nut, but as I'm getting older, um, maybe it's a little bit wiser. <laughs> um, I'm turning the gain down and I'm just really enjoying the, the clean sounds, to be honest with you. Um, the, so this is the Deluxe Reverb. Again, just a lovely, a lovely sounding amplifier. I have got a tube screamer in front of this one, just in case I want a, a little bit more gain. Not really, I don't really use it that much. I just like the sound of the clean, but. <laughs> Very tube screamery kind of kind of sound there. Um, am I doing anything with the parametric EQs? No. Um, yes, actually, I am just a little bit of level boost there. It's, you know, you don't really need that. Um, the delay is on there, but I think I have a. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a slapback delay on this one. <laughs> So yeah, you get the idea with that, just a nice slapback delay for some country licks. So I guess the last preset that I've, uh, one, of, one of my favourites, is based around the Kali Rectifier. It's always been one of my favourite amps in the um, in the Line 6 Ego system here. I just think it sounds really, really good. Nice and, kind of nice and bright without taking your face off. <laughs> 
Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Just a few of my favourite presets that I've been really enjoying lately. I could have went on for hours. I've, I've made loads of good presets for this thing. But them's just a few of my favourites so far. So if you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And of course, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you very much.